welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Today we are exploring the M&M store here on the Strip of Las Vegas. Yeah, it's right off the Strip and uh, we're checking out the four floors of the M&M store. So come get lost with us while we get lost in Candyland. Guess what? We just moved to Las Vegas and back. Yes. So this is the Las Vegas store located directly off the strip. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we even started. So if this is the end now, baby, know that. One thing we didn't realize coming into the store was that it actually has four stories and there is a ton. And when I say a ton, I mean a ton of M&M merchandise. No matter what your favorite color is, they have something for you uh, in every selection from pillows to t-shirts to plates to uh, dispensers to, I mean, everything. Gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will So this is their wall of M&M's. They have everything from the mint M&M's to peanut butter M&M's to uh, any type of nut M&M too that you want. And it ranges from anything from uh, the colors to the different flavors. And you just basically select it at the end kiosk, how much you want, you pour it into a bag, and then you measure it out to pay. Here's Nacy at one of their Instagrammable spots throughout the store doing a little dance for everybody. Something else cool that we found at the store was a Skittles kiosk. So basically you select uh, how many scoops you want of the Skittles, you pick which flavors you want so you can mix and match any flavors that they have in the machines, and it basically comes out in a little bag mixed with the various Skittles. So if you want Skittles, they also have them at the M&M store. Interesting, so you get so many scoops and each one can be different things. Fascinating. Looks like they're out of strawberries. But they have that strawberry. They have wild berries.
my favorite pieces of artwork throughout the store are the movie posters. So they basically put like uh, Eminem into some kind of movie poster, like Men in Black, uh, E.T., Driving the Screen. You know, there's all these cool little movie posters throughout that I really loved. And that was probably one of my favorite parts of the store. So definitely check out the movie posters. We were a little disappointed because when we got there, the 3D movie was not playing due to uh, the COVID restrictions. But uh, we are looking forward to going back and seeing what Lost My M in Vegas uh, is all about. If you are a NASCAR fan, make sure you check out the, on the fourth floor they have an old Kyle Busch race car. Now, Kyle Busch raced under the M&M's uh, car logo for a long time, uh, and they have one of his cars upstairs to take a look at. You can walk all the way around at 360 degrees and take a look at the uh, really cool race car at the top. So here's a pro tip for everybody. Uh, if you're going to personalize your M&Ms, head up to the third story first thing and do the personalization. The personalization can take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour plus, depending on how big the line is in front of you. So you want to make sure that you're doing that first thing. And then go check out the store because there's a lot of other things to look at that can take up the time. But if you wait till you get to the third floor, you've already seen three-fourths of the store. Uh, so head up there first, put your order in, and then head back down to look at the rest of the store. So here you see the amazing customization people putting together everybody's customized M&M's bag. So they basically dole out uh, enough of the colors that the people wanted. Then they put it into like the printer and it shoots them out at the bottom. It's a pretty cool process. everybody so that concludes our uh, shopping experience at the M&M store yeah. it's pretty cool we got uh, some items that we'll show you in a sec and we got some postcards too so if you're interested in joining our patreon we actually send out postcards to our patreon fans uh, once a month so make sure you go down there and uh, sign up for that yeah and so we got some custom made M&Ms while we were at the M&M store yeah. and um, unfortunately, they were really hard to see, but we just have them put in some generic packaging for us because we're going to divvy these up for everybody that's coming to our wedding. Yeah. So we have some plans to sort of divvy those down and put them in different containers. So we're super excited about that. And they came out nice. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to find like a shop that shows them, but they're kind of 
hard to get on camera. Very hard. But it was a fun experience. We got to take a picture in the photo booth. Yeah. And then we got to put our custom date and then um, a Las Vegas sign. And I think uh, Just Married we put on there too. So it was really fun, I have to say. I really enjoyed it. So if you guys end up going down to the strip, definitely go check out the M&M store because it is fun. And it's one of the few family friendly, it's totally family friendly things that you can do on the strip. So if you do decide to bring kids here, which we don't understand, um, that is an area where you can actually have some fun and, and sort of explore. And it's a lot bigger than you think, so set out extra time. It's four stories and there's a lot of stuff to go through. Yeah, the last m m store I went to was the one in Orlando, and I have to say this one was definitely bigger. I haven't been to the one at Disney Springs because that one opened after we left, but the one that was in the mall in Orlando um, was definitely a lot smaller than this one that we went to. Yeah, I mean, four stories. It's got a lot of things to do. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, so we will, I hope you guys enjoyed tagging along with us today. I know I did, and we will see you guys in our next adventure. Yeah, come get lost with us again on the strip. Bye.